Hello everyone, welcome back to Epicop. I am Syed Musa Kaleem and today I am going to show you how to create side menu in Ionic 2. So before we get started, we have the two pages that are home page and the contact page as you can see here this is the home.html and the another one is contact.html so these are the two pages which I am going to put in my side menu and I'm gonna show you how to create a side menu so this is the official Ionic website called ionicframework.com and here you can see that you have starter templates when you first create your app then you should use this command called ionic start your app name and the starter template in this starter template we have the side menu starter template as well but we are not going to do in this way we are going to create a side menu in our ionic 2 app but not using the starter template so let's get started so here are the two files home.html and the contact.html so if you want to create a side menu then the three important files you need to remember and that files are app.html the your root file of your ionic app and the another one is app.module.ts and the third one is app.component.ts so these are the three important files you need to use for creating the side menu in your Ionic 2 app so as you can see here I have Ion nav the root page is set to the home page inside app.component.ts you can see here and I have also imported the contact page in app.component.ts and also in app.module.ts here are the two pages home page and contact page imported inside these two files so if you create a new page then you need to import your page inside these two files it is necessary to rec it is necessary to uh, import or include these pages inside these two files for creating your side menu so after importing these two pages i have assigned these two pages in the ng module decorator and also in the entry components array as you can see here so after importing all these pages you need to set the view child you might be wondering what is view child view child is a property which is used to set the child of a navigation bar or a nav bar here i can show you how you can do that add the rate view child and inside this you are passing your nav create nav of type nav so this way you can use the view child for the side menu after giving this save and back to the app.html file in this app.html file I'm gonna create a my menu using ion menu side equals to right the side of the menu will be positioned to left but it opens from the right side and the content should be equals to content which I'm going to show you in the later part of this video and inside this Ion menu let's create Ion header and inside this Ion header let's create Ion toolbar and inside this Ion toolbar let's create Ion title and inside this ion title you could give your title called side menu after completing with the ion header part let's move towards the ion content our main content will be present inside this ion content element 
inside this create I'm going to create an ion list and inside this ion list let's create an ion item and give the click event and say go to home and let's give the item name as home page or home you could give anything let's copy this ion item and paste it down here and say go to contact and let's rename this to contact as you can see here I have two items present inside my ion list because I am going to put these two pages inside my side menu so I am taking only two items you could take any number of items inside your side menu but here in my case I am taking only two pages and I am assigning those two items with the two methods called go to home and go to contact so hit save and hop to the app.component.ts and make sure that you have imported the two pages before creating side menu in these two files and that files are app.component.ts and app.module.ts these are the two important files which in which you need to import the pages before creating side menu and finally I'm gonna create go to home method and I'm gonna pass page and I'm gonna say this dot nav dot set root home page as you can see here when the user clicks this item that is home item inside the side menu this method will get called which is present right here in the app.component.ts and the root page will be set to the home page and if the user clicks the contact item inside the side menu let's change this to contact and let's remove this page as well because I'm not passing any parameter let's assign this with contact page as you can see here the green squiggle has gone away because we have used this contact page inside this method called go to contact page when the user hits this item that is contact item inside the side menu this method will get called and the navbar will be set to the contact page let's save these all files and let's hop to the project folder and let's use git bash to run our ionic uh, to run our ionic app on ionic labs ionic serve l hyphen l this command will help you to run your ionic app this might take some time to run on the browser if you haven't watched my previous video on introduction to ionic then make sure to watch that video and also I have shown the components of ionic 2 and I have ionic 2 tutorial series playlist as well on my youtube channel please subscribe and share my videos as you can see our application is compiling now and webpack started we'll hop to the browser and we'll see so this is the official website for ionic if you want to get started and then you can then you could visit this website here are the docs as well it is still compiling there are two docs present here framework and ionic services if you are a beginner then visit this framework docs for knowing the components yeah our application is ready now and it is running on ionic lab as you can see here in the URL 
ionic hyphen lab this command called ionic surf hyphen l will run your ionic app on ionic lab you can see here i have side menu it is opening from the right side as you can notice here our our home page this is our home page and when we click this contact page we will be redirect to the contact page as you can see here i have a model inside this and i have a list of items so it is showing on all three platforms that are windows android and ios you can see here it provides the native functionality as well it is working fine so hope you got this and hope you like this thanks for watching this video and see you again